Greetings, people. This is Pretty and Double Sin, and I have Kilo Priest here with me. Hi. So, let's not waste time. Let's get into this awesome gameplay. So, yeah. We're gonna start it in 3, 2, 1. So, um, I'm playing as the Americans, and Kilo Priest is playing as the Soviets. And we fight against the Obor Commando and the Wehrmacht. So, can you say something? Tell us something, Kilo Priest? Yes, I can tell you that I immediately went on to Special Rifle Command and I went with the company that allows me to intercept their radio transmissions. Yeah, Advanced Warfare or what, something like that. Yes, so that was Warfare Tactics. Alright. Well, as you can see at the beginning, I didn't do anything since I had some problems. I installed some kind of stupid AMD gaming program or something and that basically changed my graphics so you know, basically everything on my uh, graphics was on low and I barely was able to see anything. So as you can see the Ober Commando for some reason they're taking this fuel stage, I mean this ammo cache. Indeed they are which is a stupid thing to do completely if you don't even have your characters connected. And for some reason he sent his supply truck to a place where he hasn't even captured yet. Yeah. Kind of I guess weird. he wanted to do it really fast. Yeah. But, as you can see at the beginning I already chose the rifle company. With this I was able to make a lot of riflemen at the beginning. It was really useful. Plus the the ones which I will, was able to call in with the ability, they were veterans. Yes, veterans are really lethal, especially for the Americans. Yeah. So, what were you doing? Well, I was already capturing this position on the western side. Send my rear echelon units, and I basically plan to take their fuel station but I actually didn't know that they were gonna basically wait for me with huge numbers. And yeah. here's our first combat. Storm Pioneers. But they were... They couldn't stand a chance against the might of the Soviets and the Americans. Especially that they were surrounded. As you can see on the fuel station, I have a little bit of trouble. Yeah, two old grenadier squads. Yeah, I didn't think that they would be so effective. Wow, I, now I only saw that the dude used a uh, Panzerfaust on my building, on the building. Mm. Mm. And we're having another fight here. Oh uh, yeah. Same place. We're gonna see a nice center charge. Kill. Kill. Let's see it. Ah. You're gonna use your conscripts to... Yeah. To have them occupied, then you said you're penal. Yeah, I'll find it. And then immediately throw the charge and fall back. Boom! Goodbye. Fatality. Yeah. Let's see what else is going on. Well, you're waiting against the two uh, Grenadier squads. Yeah. They're not in cover, so that's the reason where they're losing. Yeah. I guess the cover. weather is also, uh, you know, yeah, when they're influence. Cold, they're, I wonder how cold they won't be that effective. Yeah. Let's see, what do they have, actually? They don't have anything in their base, which was really surprising. I can mostly see Sturm Pioneers. Folks. They haven't even used the supply off track there. Yeah, I guess he was gathering up for something. Yeah. I guess that's the reason why we why they were really behind. Yeah, and they were slowly getting outnumbered as well. And plus, that we were already concentrating on taking the fuel stations. Yes. 
And I'm getting up my support weapon, Kapania. Yeah, this is gonna be another moment when he'll be able to push me back because he's getting quite a few amount of grenadiers. Yeah, they both were actually concentrating only on the infantry. Which was surprising. Yeah. And uh, here yes. is their first engagement again. One trying to push me back. Yeah. At this point I was realized that damn I might lose this point. My concerts were really wounded as well. Yeah, they're bringing up an MG as well. Actually, actually you see the mine placement there and the victory point. You set up oh yeah, you set up mines, I can see it. Yeah, right there. So I managed to push it back with my flamethrower, thankfully. Yeah. Now you, you're able to call in some reinforcements. I see you bringing in a sniper. I mean, two snipers. Yeah, I really needed them. Now here comes my my side. They're attacking me with quite a huge amount of grenadiers. Yeah, I think you had to retreat at this point. Yeah, I actually. Did. And here you'll see a gear, a mine kill basically. Oh yeah, let's watch it. I remember they'll use their Vox Pioneers. Nah, Vox Sub Pioneers to capture it. Ah, oh, there, there you go. Yeah, my lieutenant got pinned down. And boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Really, I think I'm a little bit ahead of you. By how much? I met. 54, 654. 56, 57, 58, 59, 70. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That doesn't matter. And you're uh, at the same page as me. Because I saw the explosion a little bit earlier than you, I think. But never mind. That no, doesn't matter. Nice. You're dealing with them here. Yeah, you're trying to push them back, and uh, I'm trying to hold them. MGs. Yeah, I lost uh, a rifleman spot. Me, I'm just trying to wear them down. And now I got an MG too. Yeah, and I got my half track. Meantime, let's watch your fight. I'm pulling back. Yeah, they're gonna pull back. I did lose a conscript squad at this point. Okay. No. Time for my off track. Yep. There they go. It's gonna be a big mistake, my friend. He actually doesn't. I guess he never know, knew the American superior. So. Yeah. Pinning them down and bringing up my infantry was a good combination. The hat track alone is really powerful, actually. Yeah. And the first blizzard. It was a good thing that I captured that standard position. They couldn't get any fuel from that. Yeah, it's true. It's really surprising that we didn't try to capture that uh, last victory point. Yeah. Well, I think we'll mostly concentrate on uh, having more resources than them. Oh, well, yeah. I guess they, yeah, they only have one fuel depot. Yeah, and but that, that was one also is well, yeah built up. So basically, they had absolutely no resources at all. But finally, when they did realize that they need resources, it was kind of too late. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that we mostly held uh, mostly of the important. Uh, uh, Territories. Uh, resource points, yeah. We, we had both of the fuel caches and both of the ammo caches. I mean, points, goddammit, I still confuse them. The ammo happens. Yeah. You're fighting pioneers there. 
Yeah. Easy victory. Pioneers are not really effective against riflemen. Yeah, even at close range, they're still not that good. They, they are actually gathering your forces. They both have half tracks. Yeah. But, you know, one half track is not going to do much. I mean, let's see. Do I actually. No, I don't. I still don't have a T gun. I remember but, that uh, as you said it here somewhere that they got a pack gun. Yes, I think I did. I thought they were gonna. They. Oh, I thought they were uh, really sure that I'm going to attack them with. Uh, and there's the pack pegs. gun. Yeah, I can see it now. By the way, look at their base. They actually, they're really new to the game because they think that their units will freeze to death in their base. Okay. See that? I I I see it. He set up fire. Uh, Fire yeah. And the other one did the same thing. Right? Yeah, I see it. Well, that was a really stupid mistake of sending that half track immediately. Yeah. yeah, but I didn't want to send in my half track because because you said it that they have a pack gun. I didn't want yeah. to risk losing my half track. But I'm still gathering up my forces, so. And here comes the other half track. Other half track. Yeah, the Which one? Both, the full. Uh, ah, yeah, the supply half track. No, the upper commander or uh, west half track. It's right there yeah. uh, near the uh, victory point. Oh yeah, that half track. Yeah. In fact, no, I had the uh, sticky grenades. Ah yeah. Uh, Made. Ew. But did you see that? When you yeah. throw it and it did a little bit of of a turn and then it was like following it. <laughs> you, when we played together and basically I pulled back my uh, Sherman, I did a turn and then you threw your grenade it basically followed me. It was like a... <laughs> that was really weird. It, it was a... Uh, how to say it? A uh, homing device. Yeah, it had a fucking lock-on system. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, there's their uh, pack gun. Yeah, it's really it, exposed, actually. Yeah, it, I. It's a really the big mistake, clear. actually. Ah, uh, he are uh, he's sending his grenadiers. Ah, uh, he has Panzer grenadiers as well. And then see. Yeah. But they're not upgraded, and he, quite frankly, he can't even upgrade them because uh, he doesn't have ammo. True on that. Since we have most of the ammo points. Yeah, he's gonna try to rush me. And in the meantime, I can see that you're fighting as well against Yobur Commando. Uh, he's yeah, setting up. Uh, you had to retreat a little bit. Yeah. Then my half track got in range. And I was like, wait, what? Freaking pack gun in a damn mortar. And then I was like, alright, I'm gonna take this. Meantime, let's check what's happening on Killer Priest's side. I'm getting really fucked right now at that side, but. but still, your MG was doing a good job. Yeah, it held the area. But their buildings are really invincible. And then I realized that I had could use the. Uh, oh, there's actually Volstrom Jaegers there. And I got their back gun. Yeah, this okay, battle so. here is over. Let's check on your side again. Yeah, they're using their rocket warfare. Then I move my anti tank gun to bombardment. Ah, oh, yeah. There it is. First, you shot your own units. But it is a small price. Yeah, I guess at that moment he got scared. Nah, he knew he would lose. 
he had all of his units bunched up in one area. He should have attacked from both areas. That way, he could have flanked me and took out my MG. And there's the hero of Alshim Jaeger squad. The middle. <laughs> yeah, I can see them. They killed actually my uh, engineers and almost my conscripts as well. Alright, let's see how our enemies were they doing. Right now they're gathering their forces again, I guess. Still a Panzer Grenadier squad. Let's check the Ober Commando. Repairing the half track. Yeah, a supply truck, but I can't, they can't use any there. Yeah, they ha barely have some right. manpower. Uh, let's see, the Ober Commando is. Yeah, they were really desperate on fuel and ammo. Let's see. Wehrmacht had a decent amount of. Ammunition, but not enough fuel. Yeah, compared to us, it was nothing. You had the most fuel and the most munition, and I was yeah. very, hard, but I kept using it as well. The munitions. Oh look! Oh look! They're trying to take the munitions. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> this is okay. where we're gonna use. Uh, you're gonna use your sniper. I'm gonna use my M20. Yeah. I am telling you would have died without your sniper support. Yeah, well, it was uh, they were close by, so I said. Mmm, chicks. And they shot you with the Panzerfaust. Yeah. Yeah, and this last one is gonna try to throw a brain. He actually will throw it. And I was like, but then he died. Nope, denied. Uh, let's see. Ah, the Vermont guy decided to equip his Panzer Grenadiers with Panzer Shreks. Yeah, he wasted a lot of it because yes. now he has only 15 munition left. Damn it, he's really low on fuel. Actually, the Obor Commando did very well with fuel. Uh, I guess it was because of his uh, mechanized uh, recognized headquarters. Wait. Remember that he, the Ober Commander is able to salvage. Oh, uh, that's true, that as well, but he kind of couldn't salvage anything because most things were was destroyed in my territory. Yeah. They're trying to capture this fuel depot here. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Denied. Denied. <laughs> Wheat. Yeah, they wanted to have fuel. They need fuel, that's so important right now for them. Yeah. We denied oh. it for them. Could have built scout cars as well, but I guess I was like, nah, it's gonna use this because most likely he's gonna build this rocket defense. And he got a puma. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> now he's building up his trench over there. Yeah. Not really gonna stop us, really. I was actually really afraid of attacking them. Me too, actually. I didn't want to attack until I had enough forces. I was like, alright, I'm gonna attack only when I get my Shermans. But, but I was still afraid because I know that my Shermans are weak against their tanks. And goodbye, half track. I think he actually won to get rid of it because no one would get rid of that their vehicles that easily. I mean, do it. It's, actu you know. it's actually a big mistake to get rid of it. Well, true. Their Puma is just standing there doing nothing at the moment. Yeah. Let's see the Vermont guy. He has a scout car, pack gun. Oh, he's bringing in an MG. They don't have much. Compared yeah. to you, you you'll just obliterate him. Yeah, now that I actually researched, I mean upgraded my uh, rifleman with uh, flamethrowers. Uh, I yeah, got my mechanized armor. I, shot, I shot my little thingy, and then I was able to see their units. The flare. Yeah. Let the battle commence. 
the death track was their first casualty. And I got the Shermans. Now comes there. I guess they wanted to coordinate their attack, you know, like attack at the same time. This is not really good coordination, to be honest. You said Nikki's MG, right? In front of your <laughs> F track. Yeah. Oh, Run into our white first. Yeah. yeah. And I'm attacked by a Puma. Yeah, th this force is basically already decimated. Let's check the kill beast. Uh, he's attacking with his Puma. He was lucky to only lose yeah. a main gun. I was actually like, how the hell did he not lose that Puma? But yeah, you can see it that he's he really wants to save it. He could actually salvage that remains of the half track. Yeah, but he didn't do it for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, he could have got enough uh, fuel to get another Puma or or at least a Yak Panzer. And at this point, I think we're gonna build the Katusha rockets. Oh wait, no. Oh, uh, you got a T-34. 85. Oh yeah. Heavy one. <clears throat> I love those tanks. I love them better than the regular T-34s. Yeah, they're, they're actually more powerful. And they're more good looking. Oh, look, here's the hero Falashimia girl again. Uh, complete waste. Nah. I still don't like the fact that uh, the US Armed Forces don't have regular mortar teams. They have that stupid howitzer. I don't like that. Yeah. True that you can get uh, like uh, motor half tracks. I don't know which one was it. Infantry company. Infantry company. Yeah, but it's still I don't like that. So, like through a company, I always have to get that company just to use motors. Ah, uh, here's the uh, open commandos half track. Yeah. Still find it very weird that he didn't use it. He sent it into my range, uh, so I basically destroyed it. Look, he's actually sending it right now. Uh, I'm surprised that the, mostly during the blizzards, they didn't attack. We didn't attack as well. Yeah, but we, you know, when we started to slowly learn, we started to attack during the blizzard, or move. And here they're sending in their half track. Yeah. I think they wanted to use it as bait, but he, as you said, he didn't uh, uh, expect T-34s. Two of them, actually. Yeah. But I always still, wanted to keep my uh, T thirty, my other T thirty four in uh, hiding. Still, I find it weird that he knew. Well, did he know that you had a T thirty four? Actually, yeah, he did because when I, he was capturing the field depot. Ah, yes, you uh, engaged him. Saw it, yeah, then, but, but he didn't know I have a eighty five. Still, it's kind of. I don't know. He wanted to, like. Uh, lure you there, but for what? He didn't have a, the necessary weaponry to defeat your T-34. Well, sure, the Puma is really fast, it can flank your unit, and that gun is still very powerful. But I have an AT gun, which gives me a lot of edges, so... Yeah. Yeah, at this time, I was basically only defending this place. I took most of the Wehrmacht's weapons, took their machine gun, pack guns... Yeah. I was just waiting. No, oh, give my white force first attack. It scared him a little bit, but not much. And I got my Katusha rockets. The Wehrmacht. 
Yeah, he has two Panzer Grenadiers and the pack gun. And there you go with your T-34, mate. Yep. I was planning to assault them from the other side. Yeah, you're already shooting the Katusha rockets on him. Actually, that position is a really good defense position. He didn't uh, defend it well enough. That was his problem. Yeah. What is he doing? He's trying to flank you. Well, good luck. He missed the first shot, so I started coming. And he's pulled the bounce stuff as well, so... I know why he's sending his Falschim units. Oh yeah, he has Panzer Faust. But he doesn't have enough, I mean, ammo for it. Um, wow. Yeah, he doesn't have any ammo for he it. Send them into the trench. So let's see what are you doing? Ah, he said, "Oh, we got a lost Lost. Yeah, this is gonna be his last attack. Two pack guns. That's it. Same time I'm, I'm assaulting the uh, the well, the over commander. Over commander. Yeah, I see. It. Let's see the final attack this guy does. Yeah, white phosphorus. And that's it, basically. I got their Puma as well. And I'm sending in my infantry. He's done for. Yeah. He's and to death. Boom. Gone. Yeah, now let's see Gilbreast. And the Wehrmacht guy just left the game. Ran into right into my uh, MG. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at this point they were kind of done for. Yeah, the AI couldn't do shit as well because it's a really, really desperate situation. Yeah. Well, still, look, they have 16 fuel income for the Wehrmacht at least, 13 fuel income for the Upper Commando. Hmm. Indeed. But still, look at the U-Boat Commander, he has a lot of uh, manpower. Yeah, he could have wasted on uh, a lot of infantry, but... <laughs> he could have even get uh, rocket weapons. True. And he does get another Puma, but it will be destroyed really easily soon. <laughs> Bounced off! Yeah. No look. An only attempt by the pioneers to take that territory. So not gonna work. Yeah, with your easy eights. Yeah. Like seriously, I was really scared at the beginning of this match. I was, I was a little like, nervous as well. Like seriously. <laughs> I always was like, all right, these guys are gonna beat us. I was, I'm so negative sometimes. Well, you know, we've lost a lot of matches, so. Yeah. This being our first victory was just amazing. We did have another victory, but that was pretty much yeah. a really easy victory because it was a free that against was one. That was really because of luck, because for some reason I believe that the guy got disconnected or his game crashed. And then we got on the offensive, and how many points did we have left? 50? We're doing 50 points, I think. Or 25, I don't remember. And we basically turned the battle around really quickly. Alright. 
And here I send my rear echelons to capture the last victory point. Yep. And as we can see, the Open Commando West is planning for an assault. Yeah. Oh, no. Wehrmacht uh, AI still is trying to do something. Fortunately, it's not succeeding very well. Yeah, that Alpha Train is going to go. I believe. Yeah. Here I call in my <laughs> airstrike. Unfortunately, didn't do anything. Was it a was it a recon? Or no, was it because they, they did? It didn't oh, have a lot of sense. Yeah. There we go. Now it was doing some damage. That's why I've sent in my vehicles to deal with the problem. Yeah. I love that my tank went really close to them. And then yeah, it was just standing there. I was like asking you, like, dude, what's doing there? Just standing there. And then boom, everyone died. Well, like, not really. That dude is running away. Oh, now he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, I decided to retreat because he had the rocket launcher. Yeah, I actually was kind of pointless to attack their base. He just basically destroyed most of his important units. They were losing. Yeah, I didn't give him any chances. The battle was mostly over. Uh, he didn't do anything after that. He's like, oh. yeah. Ah, they can capture it as much as they want. It was oh, it was over. Yep. And that was it. And there we go. And yes, this was one of our finest moments, as you can yeah. see. Yeah. Well, as you can see, it was really I don't know. I could say it's short, but it was awesome. We liked it, we enjoyed it, we were actually really happy happy after this. Indeed we were. Yes. Alright. I think we're gonna go for now. I hope you guys liked it. Check back my channel if you wanna check some other stuff. And check Killpriest's uh, channel as well. He has some awesome videos as well. Yeah, where I portray my friends. Yeah. Damn <laughs> bastard. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about that, but yeah, it's my <laughs> job. Yeah. See you next time, guys. Bye.